Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here with uh, Jason and Mike from Oculus Studio, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Oculus's upcoming launch as it pertains to, to games and content. Uh, so can you guys, guys sort of tell us what you guys are working on and what we can expect to see at the launch of the Rift? Sure. Well, today we're here looking at Dragonfront, which is a game that's coming out shortly after launch. We have a lot of titles that we're going to be uh, talking about in the upcoming weeks, some that we've already spoken about, uh, Climb, uh, Kronos, the titles that we've uh, mentioned over the last couple of weeks. And we're really excited that they finally get a chance to see the light of day. Are you guys worried about uh, market you know, fragmentation at all? I've spoken with some developers that are concerned with that. Um, you know, obviously you guys are shipping with the Xbox controller first and the Oculus Touch later on in the year. Uh, is that a concern at all for you guys? Yeah, I, we don't know which control is going to be the control that people want to play with. And in fact, I'm pretty sure after 30 years of making games that people are going to want to play with different types of control. If you want to play a game for hours, if you want to sit around and explore a massive world, being on your feet, having hand drag controllers is probably not the way you're going to do that for the same reason that most people don't get up and hike every day for a lot of time. It's, it's tiring. Uh, there's a real reason to have the hand track control, uh, I'm sorry, the gamepad. On the other hand, there are some amazing experiences that require hand track controls. So we're really excited by the fact that we are focusing on all of those control mechanisms, all those specs, and seeing which things rise to the surface uh, and what people really do want to want to experiment with. I will say also that developers are fully capable of bringing out projects across multiple platforms if they develop them on their own, and they will develop for uh, everybody who has a hand track control. So the market doesn't fragment because they have a very large base across all of the controllers with which they can work with. Cool. Uh, yep. Also add that it really depends on the game. I mean, for something like Dragonfront, it'll work on anything from an Xbox controller to this, which is what we call our Oculus Remote touch controller would be an easy ad for that. So depending on what the game is, that's really going to determine what the best control input is for it. Cool. I'm going to talk to the Dragonfront developers a little bit more after this, but can you sort of give us a high-level overview of what the game's like? Dragonfront? Absolutely. Uh, Dragonfront's a collectible card game. We really believe in social. Facebook believes in social, obviously. Oculus as a company believes in social. And we want to start making games that really take uh, advantage of the fact that two players in VR with head tracking and with voice over IP really can emote to each other. Uh, Mike and I are often playing uh, around the office and I can actually tell when he's laughing on the other side even if the voice over IP is off because I can see the way that his head is moving and I can tell when he's looking at certain parts of my board over and over again that that specific part of my board is what he's worried about, that creature, that card that I've placed. So this is our exploration and experimentation in social and in that specific aspect of, uh, of gaming. Do you have anything? The thing I would add is that this whole project kind of grew out of the question, which is what would a CCG look like in VR? We're all huge card game fans, board game fans, and being able to play a card and see that unit come to life and be able to lean your head around it and see it from all different angles really brings that genre to it, to a new level that wouldn't be possible without VR. Yeah, there's, a, there's a train set glee that comes from things in VR where you have this little card and you cast it and it turns into a skeleton or whatever it is. It's your skeleton and he's going out in a fight in your battle. It feels great. Like it's a, it's a really magical moment. Um, being very large and looking at small characters and creatures in VR is a unique thing that you can only really do in VR. The fact that it's 3D, the fact that you have scale in the world by being in the world uh, gives you a perspective you can't get from a 2D game. This game is multiplayer, and I think the perception of VR is that it's a very single, like solo experience. You know, how important is it for you guys to to really push that element? You know, multiplayer with you know with the Oculus launch. Yeah, if there's way, you know, there's many things we don't know about VR. We don't know which controller spec is going to be the controller that most people play on. We don't know which genre people want to play. We're pretty damn sure that social is going to be a massive part of VR. Facebook is a social company, that's what they're about. The fact that Facebook was so uh, interested in Oculus shows that they believe that VR is going to be a very, uh, a very social thing. VR really shines when you're in these alternate worlds with another human being and can share that experience with another human being. So not all of our games are multiplayer, but Oculus Studios is definitely pushing a lot of games uh, towards multiplayer and experimenting in multiplayer for that reason. Yeah, I think for me, like. The real first time I got a sense of presence was when I tried the toy box 
and I, I you know I did it with uh, Palmer Lucky, and he was in a different room, and it's kind of weird because when you're doing it by yourself, you know it's 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 quite immersive already, but it's almost like it's make believe. But then when you have somebody else there and they see what you see, it adds a whole layer of like this is real and this is tangible. So that's just a really cool experience. For more information on the Oculus Rift, check out MaximumPC.com.